on a joyride is now facing a possible felony charge. He's accused of vandalizing a sacred Native American site in Adams County. Not on your side, Scott Wagner says the caregiver of the site actually wants that teen to come back. For 8,000 years, this is what Native Americans hunted with. Tim Goodwin loves making history come alive for his visitors. Throw it, and off it goes. But when the park manager of Serpent Mound State Memorial saw what one late night visitor did to this sacred burial site, he felt the perpetrator hadn't gotten the message. A lot of Native Americans still hold this site you know, as a sacred site. The site is very u uh, unique here in the United States. Just past our camera. Heading for the mound. Infrared surveillance cameras caught this white pickup truck tearing up the property. And he, he's spinning his wheels. He's not making it to the top. Because of this video, police arrested 19 year old Daniel Coleman Dargavel and charged him with a fifth degree felony for his vandalism to this unique site. You're just devastated by that. Adams County Assistant Prosecutor Ken Armstrong grew up near the 2,000 year old site and couldn't understand how someone could treat it with so little respect. How could anybody do this? Why would anybody do this? Visitors to the park feel the same way. I mean, people don't understand um, what we have here. Armstrong says the suspect has already paid restitution, and Tim Goodwin will welcome him back to do community service fixing up the memorial site. All of which is really good considering we're on shoestring budget. Hopefully, teaching him some of the history authorities say he had so little respect for. Scott Wagoner, nine on your side, Adams County. The Serpent Mound itself was not damaged, and Goodwin says the damage done to the burial mound is not permanent. It will, however, take $3,700 to repair it.